Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Town Sports tonight. This is Jason Clark coming to you live from Marv Meredith Gymnasium here on the campus of Russell High School. We have 63rd District matchup tonight. Boys Varsity, the 21-3 and Russell Red Devils against Green Up Musketeers. Now, this is a seeded district game tonight for these two teams, and Russell obviously has locked up the one seed, but two, three, and four is still yet to be determined, and no one wants to play these Devils here in the first round. So, this is a big time game for Greenup to get a win and to push themselves out into a two, three possibility and stay away from the four seed. Also big games tonight in the 64th district as you have the Ashland Kittens going against the Boyd County Lay Lions. And that'll be a game for the one seed as well. Uh, coming in and Ashland took a loss here at Marv uh, earlier this week. So big time games tonight in boys high school basketball. And we're here on the pregame. But right now, we're gonna have a little chance here on the pregame to talk with the sensational freshman, but I guess sophomore volleyball year, uh, Sydney Sizemore, the setter here from Russell, who came in this year as a freshman, started on the freshman team, moved her way up to JV, and was starting varsity by the end of the year. Uh, Sid, let's talk a little bit about what you've been doing in the off season. Okay, Jason, so in the off season, I've been playing with Galaxy West Virginia Volleyball along with some of the other players on my team that are playing in the 16s and 18s teams. Okay, so what's it like playing uh, at that club level volleyball? I know that uh, you had a tournament just uh, a couple weekends ago in Lexington, and, uh, you know, what, what's coming up next and what's the level of competition like? Um, level of competition is very high right now, but my team is a very good bonded team together, I think. Even though we haven't known each other for very long, I think we're doing pretty good working together. And coming up, we have a tournament in Columbus, Ohio, against some of the better teams in different states around the country. I think there's 48 different states going to be represented there. 48 out of the 50 states will be in Columbus at the President's Cup. Um, tell us about Lexington. You got a chance to see a 15-year-old uh, there. What was, uh, tell us about her. Well, the 15 teams were really good in Lexington. They were the middle on one of the teams that we played was extremely good and she mm -hmm. just she was amazing, and she, um, we were able to get past some of her hits, but she was a really good player from E-Town, I think, Yeah, and she was really good. She's from Elizabethtown. She's the number two ranked freshman uh, in the entire state of Kentucky, uh, so you got to see that. Um, tell us about how great the uh, Galaxy coaches are. <laughs> My Galaxy coaches are amazing. <laughs> They provide lots of opportunities for me to get better and to work on the off season for upcoming school seasons. So. Okay, and uh, can you talk real quickly uh, about the girls on your team, where they're from, and uh, give give their names and, and positions? Okay, well, um, Jilly is from um, Cabo Midland, and she's my other setter. Me and her have gotten really close throughout the season so far and everything. And our two middles are Mallory Hicks and Miley. They're they're also really good players. And Where, where's Mallory and Miley from? Oh, Mallory's from West Carter, and Miley is from Fairland, I think. Fairland, Ohio. But they're all really good players. And our libero, Carly Brewster, she's also really talented. She's from Huntington High School, yeah. and she's a really good libero. She helps our team a lot. And your outsides. My outsides, um, Carly Sperry and Olivia Wiley. There's really good players from Ashland, and I've never really known them before, but I love them. They're yeah. really nice. And uh, the uh, other two, the right sides that come in uh, oh, yeah. for you. Yeah, Braylon Eaches is also, she's really good. She can hit extremely well, and she's also one of my good friends on the team. From Fairland? Yeah, she's from Fairland. And the other out, or right side? Oh, Katie. 
Katie, yes. Katie is also really good. She's um, one of our, I would say, one of our leading kill leaders this season so far. Even though we've only been one tournament, she's doing really well with um, finding spots, and she helps our team a lot. Okay. Yeah, Katie is, uh, and she's from Cabell Midland as well. As yeah. well. Uh, who's your coach? Uh, my coach is Jason Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they're a fun group, and I really enjoy them. Uh, they're great. So, uh, and, and there's a lot of 16th region and uh, some my town girls on there, as the Ashland girls and and the Russell girl, and of course uh, Mallory Hicks from the 16th region, along with uh, Fairland, some Fairland girls on there, which is uh, an up and coming uh, my town or uh, has has been on my town playing uh, some of the uh, of our Ohio schools. So uh, we're excited about that. We're going to let Sid go. We're going to take a break, and we'll come back with the pregame show uh, as we preview the Green Up Musketeers next on My Town TV Sports. For those on the go, the smoothie connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track. Make life easier and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Hey Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. Clean, your 24-7 experts for water and mold. We are... Hello, everybody, and we are back here on My Town TV. This is Jason Clark bringing you the 63rd District basketball action uh, between the Greenup County Musketeers tonight and the number one seeded 63rd District team, the Russell Red Devils, here at the Mar. Um, tonight, we're going to preview Greenup. Greenup likes to mix up their defenses, throw some press uh, out there, and they are led by senior Carson Wireman. Uh, Carson was our player of the game against Round County uh, last week, and uh, Carson is the uh, lone senior, I guess, on this team here for Greenup this year, and Coach Allison. Uh, Greenup is a much improved basketball team, and they have picked up wins over Lewis and uh, Raceland and are currently the two seed that would like to keep that uh, going strong as they head into district tournament play. Uh, Greenup will start tonight. Uh, Wireman, of course. They will start Eli Atkins, Bryson Chanley, and uh, they will also start Cohen Underwood and along with RJ Veach. But the freshman uh, Lockdown defender Bradley Atkins will come in off the bench and he will play lots of minutes and he makes a lot of things happen. Also, Casey Gammon, the sharpshooter that sent the game into overtime with a big deep three bomb against Round County last week, uh, will come in and see lots of action for the Musketeers of Greenup and Coach Allison tonight as they look to knock the Devils off here at home. Uh, and give them their first loss in 63rd District play. We're going to take a break here on My Town, and we will come right back here in a couple minutes, and we will preview the home team and the 21-3 and 3 
one of the top teams in the 16th region, Russell Red Devils, when we get back. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy and so much more. Hello everybody, this is Jason Clark and we are back here on My Town Sports TV and we are getting ready for 63rd District basketball action between the Russell Red Devils, the one seed, and the Greenham County Musketeers still fighting for their seat. And we are going to preview Russell now. Russell is obviously led by the double-double machine, Damon Charles, 16 points, 10 rebounds a night. Uh, they look to start Carson Bloom, the senior along with Gavin Carter, another senior, Noah Quinn, a junior, Caleb Renner, the eighth grader, the six foot four eighth grader. So uh, Russell also will come in with junior Tatum Fleming and another eighth grader, Elijah Neal. Zaylen Carter look to pick up some play time tonight for the Red Devils. Coach Derek Cooksey, 21 and three. He's got his whole family on the bench. Uh, he has turned Russell basketball into a pure family affair here with a uh, longtime uh, region coach, a legend in the 16th region, Rex Cooksey, his dad on the bench, along with his brother, uh, uh, the, his brother, Brett Cooksey. Sorry, I drew a blank there for a second. But Brett Cooksey, who was a who was a very good player in this region as well at Fairview. Derek was a good player at Ashland. Uh, and, of course, you know, Rex Cooksey, uh, a legend. Uh, um, another assistant coach he has, Tim Fraley. Tim Fraley, no stranger to basketball, played at Green up under Randy Ward. He was the head coach at Rose Hill, had some very good teams there. And uh, Tim Fraley, also a very good basketball mind. And they have really taken this Russell program to another level. And so uh, it's exciting what is going on here at the Marv. And it's exciting to see Russell basketball uh, being back as good as they are. And uh, it, a lot of credit to these players, a lot of credit to the, uh, the uh, administration for getting these coaches intact. And uh, there's a lot of excitement here uh, talking potential run at the region this year for the Devils. And uh, their basketball has not done that in uh, about 13, 14 years, I believe, since the last time Russell won the region championship in boys basketball. Uh, so uh, it's actually been 16 years, 16 years. So they're looking to break that streak. This may be the team that can do it. We are going to take a break here on my town, and we will be back with 
the starting lineups and tip off here from the Marv. And it's going to be hot in here. Be ready to watch My Town TV tonight for great 63rd District basketball action. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Here at My Town TV, we're all pretty good athletes, but sometimes we just got to get out on the court and show these kids how it's done. This is attorney Adam Clark. You may not know this, but we have multiple Make-A-Wish candidates this year in the Ashland area. Join us today and donate through the QR code here on this screen. Never underestimate the power of hope. Thank you for making wishes like mine come true. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. Advantage Clean, your 24 seven experts for water and mold. changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. When you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people. Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy and so much more.
You're on the move, you're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now, get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. And we are back here live at My Town TV. And we are getting ready for the starting lineups tonight as we get ready for the 63rd District matchup. Russell and Green up here at the Marv on the beautiful campus of Russell High School. During the 2022 track season, two school records at Russell High School were broken. Both of these records stood for more than 40 years. Not only were these great personal achievements, but they were pivotal moments in leading the Russell High School men's track team to the 2022 Regional Championship. A couple of the Russell track members that broke some 40-year-old school records. A record that stood since 1978. David Harless set the new school record of 50 feet 10 inches this spring. 50 feet 10 inches school record. Region champion David Harless. He's a member of the football team being announced. We would also like to welcome back tonight Davis Brown, whose leadership. Davis Brown. He was a senior last year, already graduated. Davis leadership and character were unmatched on the track. Davis broke the school record in the 800 meters. At the state track meet in Lexington, Kentucky, Davis broke the 43-year-old record with a time of one minute, 55. He broke the 800-meter record here at Russell. Not only did he do that, at the state track meet, he broke a 43 here record and was the uh, state champion in the 800 meters here at Russell High School. So uh, nice honor of those kids tonight. If you'll notice something about this Russell Greenup game that's missing, you're missing the cheerleaders from Greenup that would be down here on your left. They are in Florida competing in nationals. And on your right, you're missing the cheerleaders from Russell who are down in Florida competing in nationals. So two really good cheerleading squads down Orlando, Florida tonight. Uh, and we want to wish them the best of luck from my town. Uh, go Devils, go Musketeers, bring home some jackets uh, for Eastern Kentucky in the 16th region. So Casey Gannon going to get the start. Gannon and now Bradley Atkins getting the start as well for Greenup tonight. The two freshmen. And Underwood to start with Wireman. So Eli Atkins and RJ Beach uh, will, uh, will come in off the bench tonight. And now Russell getting ready to be introduced to Inner Sandman. And the lights are off here at the Mar. Got some flashing strobe lights. Love it. They're putting on a good show. I love the fact that these area teams have picked their game up to put on a really good show. Caleb Brent, <laughs> the eighth grader. So Graham starting two freshmen. Coach Cooks, he says, I, I can one do you. I'll go down to the middle school and get one today. <laughs> Noah Quinn, the junior. He will start. And the double-double machine leading Russell in scoring at 16.8 a game, averaging 10.1 rebounds a game. One of the best players in the region. And 
Carson Bloom, the senior, and Gavin Carter, the senior. We're ready for tip-off here. Roy Wright, Gavin Ramsey, getting ready to tip, tip this game off. Coach Allison making his first trip to the Marv. He's gonna see what a Green of Russell rivalry is all about. Some heated matchups throughout the years here as Green of controls the tip. Carson Wireman guarded by Carter. Wireman. Takes it up and in, and Greenup off to a fast 2-0 start. Two for Wireman right there off the bat. Bloom, he drives it in, throws a wild shot up, no good. Rebounded by Bradley Atkins, giving to Carson Wireman. Wireman's going to bring it up across the timeline. He's going to pull it himself, and he stops and pops. Three for Carson Wireman, and Greenup's up 5-0. Bloom brings the ball up for the Devils. Over to Carter. Carter's going to drive left. Back to the eighth grader, Renner. Rimmer takes it in, misses the shot, gets his own rebound, stripped. In, in low to Charles. Charles goes up, taken away by Chanley. Out to Wireman. Wireman out to Bradley Atkins, and Greenup's looking to run. Atkins calls his own number, but defended by Bloom, rebounded by Charles, up to Carter, and Carter's going to lay it in. Two for Carter, and it's 5-2 Green. Gannon with the ball. Gannon looks, swings the ball over to Underwood. Underwood back out to Chanley. Chanley, he spins, gets in the lane, floats it up, misses the shot. It's rebounded by Quinn. Quinn's going to bring it across himself. And down the corner to Carter. Carter finds Bloom cutting. Blocked out of bounds. And it's going to be Russell Ball. 5-0. Physical game so far. No fouls called. Carter gets the ball on the inbounds. Goes up with it. Misses the shot. And the ball is rebounded by Quinn. Queen gets it back to Carter. Carter looks. He's got Charles in the middle of the lane. Takes it up, and the ball is stuck on the rim. That becomes an alternating possession, and it will be Russell Ball. I has not seen that all season. The ball stuck on the rim right there in between the backboard. Damon Charles gets the ball on the inbounds. He cuts hard, goes up, is fouled. We got our first foul of the game. It's on Chanley. And Rimmer is on the line, the eighth grader. The eighth grader is going to score his first point of the night. And he misses the second. And it's out of bounds to Green. Greenup has the ball now. Russell putting on a little bit of pressure. They're going to pick Wireman up in the backcourt, make him get rid of the ball as he has all five of Greenup's points. Gammon brings it across, gives it to Underwood. Underwood finds a cutting Gammon. Gammon misses the ball, rebound by Rimmer. Rimmer's going to bring it up himself. He gives it to Bloom, cutting. Bloom down in the corner. Brings it back out to Carter. Back to Bloom. Bloom with the ball. Gives it over to Carter. Carter finds Quinn. Quinn finds Rimmer. And now Carson off the cut. Out to Caleb Rimmer, who misses the three. Rebounded by Carson Wireman. As Carson Bloom had a nice cut there to get someone open. Chanley runs it down for Greenup, misses the 
three-pointer, but Bradley Adkins, the freshman, is there for the rebound. He goes up with it and is fouled. Bradley Adkins now will shoot the free throws for Green. That'll be Green's first two free throws in the night. Adkins first is up and good. As the freshman Bradley Atkins scores his first point of the night and doubles the lead. And now he takes his second up and in. And it's seven to three Greenham here about midway through the first quarter. Charles, he finds he finds Carter cutting. And Car Carter lays it up and in at seven five. Chanley cuts to the middle of the lane. He goes up and scores on Caleb Brimley. And it's 9-5 green up here. Er, er, uh, still uh, with about four minutes to go in the first quarter. Carter has it on top. Green up in the man-to-man -man defense. Carter's trapped, knocked away, stolen by Casey Gammon. Gammon's going to bring it up. He finds Chanley underneath. Chanley's going to take it on, up on Rimmer. Rimmer blocks it, but Bradley Atkins is there for the rebound. Gammon, shot fakes, gets the ball into Chanley. Chanley dumps it into Bradley Atkins, and Atkins scores. And that's his fourth point, and it's 11-5. Russell wants a timeout. We've got a timeout here. It's a 30-second. We're going to stay here with you exactly four minutes ago here in the first quarter in Greenup with the fast start and 11 to five lead on the Devils here. It's been the Wireman Atkins shows. Wireman's got five Atkins with four, uh, along with two from Chan. Russell has four from Gavin Carter and one from Caleb Rimmer. <coughs> Russell brings the ball across the court. Number three, the eighth grader, Elijah Neal in. He brings the ball up, but they find Carter, or in the, uh, Charles, sorry. Charles in the middle of the lane. He puts it up and in, and it's 11-7, and Russell brings the press. Wireman picks the ball up at half court, gets it to Gammon. Gammon looks over up top to Wireman. Wireman swings it over to Underwood. Underwood misses the three, and it's rebounded by Charles. Charles brings it up himself, tries to get the ball uh, down low to Carter, and it is taken away by Casey Gammon. That's his second steal of the quarter. Gammon gets the ball up top to Underwood. He gives it over to Wireman. Wireman guarded by Bloom. In low to Underwood. He finds a cutting Bradley Atkins. Atkins goes up. A lot of contact. No call. And it's scrum for the ball. Knocked out of bounds. It's going to be Russell Ball. Coach Allison doesn't like the call. He's letting the official know that he was not happy. He felt like there was a lot of contact down there on Bradley Atkins. But there was a no call. And the ball goes out of bounds off green up. It's going to be Russell Ball as Neal brings it up. Neal brings it up, gives it to Tatum Fleming now in the game for Russell. And back over to Neal. Neal fires a three, no good. Tapped up by Damon Charles, but rebounded by Wireman. And Wireman finds Bradley Atkins. And Bradley Atkins scores his sixth point in the game to lead all scores. As Charles had his hand on the rebound, but it was tapped out of his hands and into the hands of Wireman. And now Gammon with his third steal and a foul on Neal. The freshman Gammon steals it away, and that's his third steal of the quarter. It is a 13-7 green of lead, and Russell looks a little shocked. The crowd here, everybody just looks a little shocked. There's a lot of buzz uh, walking into this game, and uh, Green has came in and done a great job of silencing the crowd early as now Gammon has the ball. He gives it over on the wing to Wireman. Wireman reverses his dribble, takes it up top. Now he's going to drive down the middle of the paint, and he is fouled. Take your pick here. 
They're going to call it on number 24, Tatum Fleming. That's his first foul. And it's going to put Carson Wireman at the line for Greeno. Wireman looking for his sixth point of the quarter. He eyes it, he tries it, and it's short. Wireman trying to give Green up a seven point lead. He has the ball at the free throw line. Eyes it, tries it. This time is nothing but net, and he has six. So. 14 to seven, it should be 14 to seven, I believe. There it is, 14 to seven is the score. It's now corrected on the scoreboard here as they go down low to Damon Charles and he scores his fourth point. They leave Wireman alone and he drains it. He picked his dribble up and uh, Fake the pass, the defenders left him, and he drains a shot and makes it 16-9 green up as Wireman now with his eighth point of the quarter. Now Damon Charles gets the ball. He drives baseline and is fouled. Owen uh, Underwood, Cohen Underwood fouls, that's his first. And now Eli Atkins, number four for Greenup, will check in. Eli Atkins makes his first appearance tonight for the Musketeers. Charles has the ball at the free throw line. He drives in, he goes up and scores. Damon Charles is a man. Six points this quarter for him as Greenup Gets it down sideline break. Eli Atkins with a beautiful pass to Bradley Atkins. Bradley has eight now. Carter has the ball on top. He's working on Eli Atkins. He finds his brother, the other Carter, cutting to the rim. And he tries to get it to Bloom. It's stolen away. Knocked away by Gammon. Taken away by Wireman. But Wireman picks it up midcourt. A little too fast, picked it up too fast and traveled with it. It's 18-11, green up 50.3 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Russell inbounds to Neal. The eighth grader's going to bring it up against the freshman, Atkins. He throws it in low to Rimmer. Rimmer looks out, gives it to Bloom. The senior, Bloom, tries a three, misses. Rebounded by Chanley. Chanley gets it to Eli Atkins. It's a two on one. He gives it to Bradley Atkins, and Bradley Atkins with his 10th point of the quarter. It is 22-11. Green up here with 13 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Bloom, he's going to take it himself. He gets to the hole and scores it at the buzzer. Carson Bloom calls his own number, goes in and scores it 2013. And we are going to take a break here on My Town TV. And we'll be right back for second quarter action. You're on the move, you're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now, get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait, go mobile with Community Trust Bank. And we are back here on My Town TV Sports Network as Greenup leads Russell here at the mark, 20 to 13. 
Uh, also, we'd like to uh, give a shout out to the Ashland Varsity Cheerleaders as they have gotten through today's round and advanced to tomorrow's round in Orlando, Florida in the National Cheer Competition. Eli Atkins has the ball. He's working on Damon Charles. Charles knocks it away. Wireman set to inbound it. Carson Wireman gives it out to Underwood. Underwood up top to Casey Gammon. Gammon ball face gets in the middle of the lane, shoots it, no good. Rebounded by Charles. That is his third rebound to go with his six points. He's right on pace for another double-double as he drives middle of the lane, goes up, misses, rebounded Casey Gammon. Carson Wireman's got it now, and he's running the break for Green. He gives it up to the trailer, Gammon, who misses the three, but Gammon gets his own rebound. He swings it over to Eli Atkins, who drives it in, and there's a charge as Carson Bloom, the senior, Slides over and takes the charge. Eli Atkins with the charge. Russell with the ball. Neal brings it across. He gives it to Charles. Up top to Bloom. Over to Carter. Carter back over to Neal. Neal throws it in to Caleb Renner. Rimmer goes up and scores. That's his third point for the eighth grader. And it's a 2015 game as Russell brings some pressure. And Charles is guarding Wireman, and he's got no help, it looks like. It's just not letting Carson Wireman touch the ball for this green up team. Eli Atkins has it on top. He pulls up and knocks it down right over Damon Charles. Eli Atkins with his first two nights, 22-15. Charles has the ball. He drives middle of the lane, turns, spins, misses it, rebounded by Carter and put back up. But there is a foul on Green. <laughs> Fouls on Gammon, that's his first of the evening. Gavin Carter, he has four. He eyes it, he tries it. It's up, bounces in, and he's got five. Carter with the lefty stroke. He eyes it, he tries it, in and out, no good. Rebound Carson Wireman of Green. And Carson Wireman's going to run it down himself and get into the middle of the lane. They're going to call a foul on Gavin Carter. That's his. Wireman having a hard time getting it in. Now it's back to Wireman. Wireman has it up top. Carter's guarding close. Stolen away by Rimmer on the double team. Caleb Rimmer takes it away. It's out to Bloom. Bloom to Carter. Russell's on attack. Grant does a good job in transition, stopping them going fast. Ball's knocked away, retrieved by Rimmer. Rimmer goes up and, and puts it up. No good, but, it, but it's rebounded and scored by Damon Charles, his eighth point. And now there's another turnover at midcourt. And Rimmer gets it. He gives it over to Carter. Carter back out to Neal. Neal over to Charles, who swings it to Carter and back to Charles. Swings it over to Neal. They try to feed it to Rimmer down low. It's knocked away by Carson Wireman. Green has got a run out with Elijah Atkins. He's blocked by Damon Carter. Ball goes out to half court, but is retrieved by Bradley Atkins. And now Eli. Takes a shot, misses, but 
Underwood is there for the stick back and action starting to heat up again, get going in the fast pace. 24-18, ball's up and we have the alternating possession. It's gonna be Russell Ball on the alternating possession as Bryson Chanley now will check in for Greenham. Ball's inbounded down low to Rimmer. Rimmer turns, fires it up. No good. Rebounded by Bryson Chandler. And now Greenup outrunning Russell down the floor as Underwood has it. But it's blocked by Rimmer. Rebounded by Charles. And now Elijah Neal with a no-look sweet pass. Got the crowd on their feet right there. And Carter lays it in. Carter now with seven. Great pass by the eighth grader, Neal, as Gammon drives by and scores it. Gammon goes right by Neal and it stops and pops, and it's back to a six-point game as Russell would cut it to four. Charles drives, kicks it out to Rimmer. Rimmer hits a long two. It's 26-22. Everything you expect out of the Russell Green basketball matchup. Ball is turned over as they tried to throw it down low to Wireman. Wireman hit the deck. And uh, Underwood's pass sails out of bounds. And uh, Cohen Underwood's going to come out. RJ Veach is going to come in. There's three minutes and 42 seconds to go before the half. Neal's going to bring it across. He looks over. They've got Charles. Charles isolates down low. They have Carter got the ball into him. And now Wireman is double teamed. And uh, nobody was there. He was double teamed in the corner. Coach Allison has to call a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. We're going to stay here on my town during the 30-second timeout. Coach. Coach Allison was livid there. Wireman got the rebound. Carter and Charles stayed and double teamed him in the corner. And the green uh, players took off down the floor. And there was nowhere for Carson to go. So instead of making a, a decision like that, Coach Allison decided to save the two points and burn his timeout. Each team's used one. Four timeouts left for both teams. Four fouls in this opening half for each team. We're gonna break here from the timeout. Green has got the ball. Russell's gonna drop back in a half court man to man, it looks like, which is what they've played most of the night. It's a pretty cooksy trademark there. Sticky man to man defense. Carter's going to guard Wireman as he brings it across the timeline. He looks over to Bradley Atkins. Atkins swings it back up top to Chanley. Chanley over to Gammon and back to Wireman. Damon Charles uh, drives it in and it's blocked by Rimmer or Charles. Take your pick, maybe both of them, as he drove it on Carter. Here, have it. Uh, not sure. Looks like there's blood on a player, blood on Carson Wireman, so he's going to have to come out of the game. And Eli Atkins checks in for him. Ball swung up top to RJ Veach and into Chanley. Chanley over to Gammon. Gammon drives on Neal. Now to Bryson Chanley, guarded by Charles. Out to R.J. Beach. And back out top to Eli Atkins now. Eli Atkins gets the ball to Chandler. Chandler's got it up top over to Gammon. Gammon drives the ball, gives it to Bradley Atkins. Bradley Atkins goes in, blocked by Rimmer, gets his own rebound, blocked by Charles, gets his own rebound, blocked again by Charles. And now, 
They're going to call a foul on Charles. And so Bradley Atkins now is going to go to the line for two. Line for Bernie County shooting two, Bradley Atkins. Bradley Atkins puts the first one up. He eyes it, tries it, makes it. Bradley Atkins leading all scores right now. He has 11 uh, officially. And make it still 11 as he misses the free throw. And Greenup holds that five point lead, 27 22. Greenup has not trailed in this game yet through the first 14 minutes of play. Neal has it out to Rimmer. Rimmer back out to Neal and over to Charles. Charles has the ball on the wing. He, uh, Carter has the ball on the wing looking for Charles. Charles gets it down low. He is stripped by Wireman, and there is a tie-up, and it's going to be green at ball as Carson Wireman dove on the deck and stripped the ball away from Damon Charles as Carter fed him down low. The game for Russell number five, Carson Bloom. And Carson Bloom comes back in for Noah Quinn. Wireman's going to bring the ball up. Carter's working on him. Wireman dribble entries. Nowhere to go. He gives it to Gammon. And we got a foul on Neal. And that's going to be Russell's sixth foul. Grimm's going to be in the bonus the last minute, the half of the half. <laughs> that's Russell's 16 foul. So Greenup will shoot. Every foul from now on through the end of the first half. Ball's inbounded to Wireman. Wireman kicks it out top to Gammon. Gammon looks to drive on Quinn. Knocked away. Quinn steals it from him. And we've got a jump ball. It's going to be Russell's ball. As Quinn knocked it away, they went to the floor for it. And Quinn came away with it on the jump ball. And now... Carson Bloom has it. He's going to bring it across the timeline for the Devils. He gets it over to Carter. Carter gets a screen from Charles. And Carter's going to stop, pop, misses the shot, rebounded by Bryson Chanley. He gets it out to Carson Wireman. Wireman, he's bringing it down. He's got five on four. He finds Eli Atkins, who puts it up and in. Great pass by... Carson Wireman and Eli Atkins with his fourth as he goes up and puts it in. And now it's a seven point green up lead with under a minute to go here in the first half of play. Bloom has it on top, tries to get it to, he tries to get it to Carter and the ball goes out of bounds. It's deflected off of Green up as Eli Atkins tried to steal that pass, deflects it out of bounds. And it's Russell Ball as Quinn inbounds it to Blue. And it goes down low to Charles. Charles puts it up and in. That's his tenth. I've got him with ten points, five boards. That's halfway to his double double rebound wise here in the first half. Wireman with the ball. He gets it to the free throw line, goes up, stops, and pops. Wireman shooting the ball well tonight. That's his 10th point. And they're going to fire a half court. Carr's going to fire it from half court in and out. As he tried to bank it in off the rim, and it's no good. It is going to be 31 24. Greena going into the break here at the mark. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with you on the Halftime Show here on My Town Sports TV. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel.
we take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. Hey, Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you, and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. We are KEDC. And we are back here on My Town TV. We are at halftime of the Green of Russell 63rd District Boys Basketball matchup. And Green of is leading Russell 31 24. Although the man child for Russell, Damon Charles, already has 10 points, 5 rebounds. Uh, this uh, first half, he's leading the Devils' charge. Um, Greenup is being led by Bradley Atkins, who has 11 points. He's leading all scores. Um, well, actually, take that back. Uh, uh, he is, yes, sorry. 11 points leading all scores is Wireman and has 10. So Atkins with 11, Wireman with 10. And it is, uh, they have carried the bulk of the points here for the Musketeers tonight who hold that seven point lead. And it is uh, back and forth. You seesaw physical battle here, but what would you expect any different in the 63rd district uh, tournament, or 63rd district seeded basketball action for the tournament? Uh, we'd also just end uh, Russell Lady Devils are at East Carter tonight. They're at halftime, and they lead 45 to 13 at the half. We're going to come back. We'll preview some other games and talk a little bit more about the first half here on My Town TV Sports Network. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy, and so much more.
And we are back here at Marv Meredith Gymnasium here on the campus of Russell High School tonight here with 63rd District Basketball action. We have scores from around the region. The game is uh, the girls game in the 64th for the one seed. The Ashland Kittens and the Boyd County Lady Lions are all tied up at the half at 37-37, and that is also airing on my town. Uh, you be clicking back and forth on those games, or you could be at a place that has them uh, both going on at the same time. We've seen some of that tonight. So uh, you could go uh, frequent a venue here and uh, locally and, and see both games going on at the same time. But uh, Russell and Greenup has been a physical first half matchup. Uh, Russell has four block shots on Greenup, but Greenup continues to take the ball strong at the hole and make free throws. Greenup's only missed one free throw tonight. And they have uh, been to the line two, three, four, six times. So they're five of six from the line tonight. And uh, Russell uh, is two, four, four from the line tonight. They've been to the line four times and went two for four. The Greenup team has switched up a little bit of that, uh, of that, uh, of their starters. They went with Gammon and Atkins, the two freshmen that have not started much. They've been coming off the bench. They've been bringing ben, uh, RJ Veach and Eli Atkins uh, off the bench uh, tonight. And it seemed to uh, maybe have thrown Russell off a little bit in that first half scout. Greenup got off to a really fast start. Uh, they got off to a 5-0 start and never looked back, never trailed. So, again, you can watch My Town TV tonight, and uh, you can go several places. If you want to send us a message, we'll tell you where you can go, and you can, uh, you can get both teams on. And really quickly, before we go to our last break, just in, let's send a congratulations also to a school in the 63rd district, the Raceland Lady Rams cheerleading uh, go to nationals. And for the first time in Raceland school history, they advanced in the national championships to tomorrow's round on Saturday. Uh, big time goal by uh, Coach Misty Pack and the Lady Ram cheer as they have really uh, stepped up their game and uh, all of the area schools have. All the area schools have advanced uh, to tomorrow's round uh, that I have. Now, I know Ashland has, and I know that uh, uh, Russell has as well, and also uh, Raceland has. Uh, we will find out a little more on Greenup uh, as their performance comes in, but uh, I do know that everyone's advanced and made uh, the 16th region proud. We're going to take a break here on my town. We'll come back with second half action as we just announced the Russell High School senior swimmers and uh, the Swim Devils. So the Swim Devils just got announced. So anyway, we'll be back on my town here in a couple minutes for second half basketball action. Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. This is attorney Adam Clark. You may not know this, but we have multiple Make-A-Wish candidates this year in the Ashland area. Join us today and donate through the QR code here on this screen. Never underestimate the power of hope. Thank you for making wishes like mine come true. At Pathways, we're transforming not just ourselves, but the way you'll see healthcare. Introducing our all new certified behavioral health clinic, an evolutionary shift in our approach with a focus on you as a whole. Our team will coordinate care, dialed in on both your physical and mental well-being. It's a holistic approach to how our consumers will seek and receive health care. 
We are so proud to be able to provide these new services right here in our local communities. Learn how healthcare is changing for you at anewpathway.org. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. We strive to use our knowledge, talents, and resources to improve the quality of life in our communities. This year, People's Bank is celebrating our 120th anniversary by delivering 120 acts of kindness. These acts of kindness bring us just as much joy as to those that receive them. People's Bank, working together, building success. And we are back here on My Town Sports TV Network. We're watching the 63rd District matchup between Russell and Greenup. And Greenup with a surprisingly uh, seven point lead here in the first half at the mark. Uh, remember that uh, here in two weeks uh, is going to be starting the regional basketball tournament. We got one week of high school left next week. Uh, of regular season, and then we'll have the, a week of district tournament play throughout the uh, 16th region, and then we'll will my town TV will be at Moorhead State University, and we will be the official home of the 16th region tournament, and that should be a great tournament on the boys' side and girls as well, as we have so many talented teams in the area: the Boy King Lions, the Russell Red Devils, Ashland Tomcats, along with on the girls' side, again, the Russell Red Devils, Boy Can't Lay Lions, Ashland uh, uh, Kittens, and don't forget the Round County Vikings with Haven Ford, the Murray State commit, unbelievable player. So that should be a great regional tournament. Greenup opens up the half and walks with the basketball, and now Russell goes on attack trying to cut into this lead. Quinn looks over. He's got Carter. Carter swings it down low to Charles. Charles out to Carter. Carter for three. No good. Rebounded by Bryson Chanley and out to Casey Gammon. Gammon now brings the ball across the court. Gives it to Chanley. Chanley drives on Rimmer and throws it out to Gammon. Goes through his hands, but thankfully Carson Wireman was there for Greenham. And now he's going to drive it in, and he travels. So Greenup opens up with back-to-back -back traveling calls here in the third quarter, and they have yet to get a shot up. Bloom is going to bring it across the timeline for the Devils. He's going to drive it in. He goes middle of the paint, blocked by Chanley, retrieved by Cohen Underwood, and Carson Wireman going to bring it up the court. He's going to stop from deep and pull it. He hit that from the Flatwoods McDonald's, folks, and it's a 10-point green of lead. Carson Wireman knocks it down for his 13th. I don't think Carter was ready for him to pull it from that deep. Quinn with the ball, swings it over to Rimmer. Rimmer drives in the middle of the paint, kicks it out to Quinn. Quinn takes a shot. Misses. Atkins there defending. Wireman with the rebound. Throws it over top to Chanley. Chanley goes in, lays it in. And now Russell's going to have to call a timeout as Chanley plays it in. And it's a 12-point lead. We've got subs coming in right now. We're going to find out, is it a 30 or a full? It's a full timeout. We're going to take a one-minute break here on my time. We'll be right back. At Pathways, we're transforming not just ourselves, but the way you'll see healthcare. Introducing our all new certified behavioral health clinic, an evolutionary shift in our approach with a focus on you as a whole. Our team will coordinate care dialed in on both your physical and mental well being. It's a holistic approach to how our consumers will seek and receive health care. We are so proud to be able to provide these new services right here in our local communities. Learn how health care is changing for you at anewpathway.org. <music>
And we are back here on My Town TV. This is Jason Clark. We are live here at the Marv as Russell trails Green it by 12. Neal with the ball, gets it over to Bloom. Bloom is guarded by the freshman. Gammon over to Carter. Carter trying to get the ball down low to Rimmer. Can't, and he's going to get called for the ball handling violation, and he slams the ball at the ref, and now he just got tech, he just got teed up. There's a technical foul on Russell as Carter was not frustrated with the referee. I feel like he was way more frustrated with himself, but he slams the ball, and let, I'm gonna, let Derek Cooksey, let's talk about this. The young man slammed the ball, made a mistake. He took him out of the game, and he made the young man go retrieve the ball down in the corner. Now that is discipline coaching, people. That is excellent coaching. Uh, young man, we know you made a mistake, but you're, you're gonna go get that ball as Wireman puts it up and in. Great job, Derek Cooksey. Wireman hits the first technical, and now he hits the second technical, and it's a 14-point lead. But Coach Cooksey kept his calm, told the young man, go get that ball and throw it in. I love it. Very disciplined coaching, and the young man didn't say a word back. He just he knew he made a mistake, went and got it. Unbelievable job right there. Win or lose this game, that was teaching character, people, and I, I am all about that as a coach. Gammon drives it in, is poked away by Neal and stolen by Fleming. And now Neal's got the ball. So Greenup wasn't able to convert the extra possession as they turned it over. They get it into Rimmer. Rimmer goes up with it, misses. Underwood rebounds, and Wireman has it. Wireman's going to drive left-handed, throws up a, a wild reverse. No good, rebound to Charles. That's his sixth on his way to a double-double. As Bloom drives in, blocked by Chanley, rebounded by Underwood. And now Underwood's going to bring it across the court. He's going to drive all the way coast to coast, blocked by Damon Charles. So Charles has had a block party. I think that I've got Charles now with six rebounds, four blocks, ten points. Ball's inbounded by Green and retrieved by Gammon in the backcourt. Gammon brings it across the timeline out to Chandler. Chandler gets it up top to Underwood. Underwood goes in. He is, he goes up blocked by Charles, but they got him for steps beforehand. So they got him as a walk before Charles got his fifth block. So they don't count as a block, but that is another turnover by Griffin. That's their third walking violation in the quarter. Ball goes down low to Charles. He's double teamed out to Neal. Neal's gonna shoot the three in and out, no good. Offensive rebound, Charles. Charles gets it, spins up and in, and is foul. Damon Charles picks up a seventh rebound, 12 point, and goes up for number 13. Much needed Russell possession right there. Zaylen Carter's going to come in. And Eli Atkins is getting ready to check in for the Musketeers. Charles misses the free throw, and it's rebounded by Bryson Chanley. And Greenup has the ball. Wireman working across the timeline on Carter. He drives it in. He finds a cutting Underwood. Underwood gives it back to Wireman. Wireman short on the three. Rebound by Rimmer. Rimmer gets it to Damon Charles. Charles hustles it up the court. He gets it over to Fleming. Fleming inside to Carter. Carter back out to Fleming. Fleming misses the shot. Rebound by Carson Wireman, but he turns it over at half court. Neal misses the layup. 
And we have a tie ball alternate possession is going to Russell as Neil missed the layup. It was a four on one. And then Green have got back and the ball was tied up. It's going to be Russell ball. Neil's got the ball out over to Carter. Carter gets it into Charles. Charles gets it back to a cutting Carter who cut off the post and he is fouled going up. He's going to shoot. Eli Atkins on the foul. That's his second. Zaylen Carter now looking for his first points, the senior. He eyes it, tries it, and it's short on the first free throw. Chance to cut into this lead is it ballooned up from seven to 14, and he misses both free throws and rebound to Chandler. Russell is only two for seven tonight from the foul line. Wireman brings the ball up the court, guarded by Zaylen Carter. Ball goes over to Chanley. Chanley finds a cutting. Eli Atkins, Eli Atkins cuts to the rim, and he is fouled by Fleming, Tatum Fleming on the foul there. Fouls on Russell number 35, Zaylen Carter, his first, team first. Ball is inbounded by Wireman to Eli Atkins. Eli Atkins goes up and he is fouled. He's fouled by Zaylen Carter. So Zaylen Carter now is going to come out of the game. And Gavin Carter is going to check back into the game. As Eli Atkins eyes it, tries it, makes the first. That's his fifth point. And he hits point six as Eli Atkins converts the two free throws and makes it back to a 14 point game as Russell had a chance with free throws to cut it to 10. Charles has the ball. He's being double teamed. He gets it out to Gavin Carter. Carter gets it over to Rimmer. Rimmer finds a cutting Carter. Carter's open down low, puts it up and in. Carter now with nine. Good pass by the eighth grader Rimmer as Russell brings the pressure. Green up. Gets it across frantically, takes a wild shot, misses, but Bradley Atkins is there for the rebound. At Bradley Atkins, the freshman, rebounds it, makes a lot of things happen. And we got a foul on Fleming. That's his second on Tatum Fleming. And Atkins is going to the line. Looking to make this back a 14 point lead for the Musketeers. Atkins misses the first shot. Bradley Atkins has the ball. He's going to eye it. And he is going to try it. Misses. Rebound Carter. He's got 12 and 8. He's on his way to another double-double, folks. One of the top players in the region, Damon Carter from Russell. We got a kick ball as Carson Bloom tried to get the ball down low to Caleb Renner. Uh, Casey Ginn got his foot on it, kicks the ball. Russell's got an OB under. Carter, he gets the ball out top to Bloom. Bloom to, to Rimmer. Rimmer up top to Carter, who gets it down low to Charles. Charles goes up, misses. Rebound Wireman, and Green's got another run out. They have spotted some. They've had run outs all night. As Bradley Atkins lays it in. And it's back to 14. Great pass over the top by Carson Wireman. 
the three sports star from Green getting it done tonight. Rimmer for three, no good. Rebound, Casey Gammon. Gammon brings it across. Picked up by Neal. Over to Underwood. Underwood down low to Eli Atkins. Eli Atkins shoots it, misses. Rebound, Charles. 12 and nine. He's one away from the double-double. And we've got Rammer driving. He drives on Wireman, a lot of contact. Was it a block, was it a charge? We got a block. And the Greenup fans behind me did not like that call. But we do have a block. And Rimmer, the eighth grader, is going to go to the line. He's going to have two. He's going to try to cut into this 14-point Greenup County lead. We'd like to give a shout-out to all of the guys and or gals at Fat Ash Cigar Lounge out on Route 60. And they've got dual screens. They sent pictures. They have dual screens of my town up right now watching the 63rd and the 64th uh, seed games tonight as the eighth grader Rimmer misses the first shot. We would like to thank them for their participation in My Town TV Sports tonight. Rimmer misses the second and the free throws are really plaguing Russell now. We've got an illegal screen, absolutely. Chanley just, absolutely. Good call by the referee right there. He went head hunting on uh, Neil and uh, moved right into him. Coach Allison doesn't like the call, but I will say I agree with that one. That was a good call. Green up still going to play in this half court man to man D. Physical game as expected, as always, with these two schools that really don't care much for each other. Charles goes in, misses the shot. Rebounded by Underwood, knocked away by Charles, but Underwood's going to retain possession. Damon Charles is going to come out. He, they actually called a foul on that knock away. So, 42-28 could be the score of the Super Bowl here on uh, Sunday night, Super Bowl weekend. Ball is out to Wireman. Wireman on top, he drives in the middle of the lane, kicks it over to Eli Atkins. Atkins with a three off the pass from Wireman. That's nine now for Eli Atkins off the bench. Anyway, the ball goes out to Quinn. Quinn, it rims around, it goes around the, the old toilet bowl. And there's a foul down low as Russell starts to pick up the fouls. Russell only had six the first half. They've got six in the third quarter. There it goes. Oh my gosh. Inbound goes to the free throw line to Eli Atkins. And Eli Atkins just drives it down the middle of the paint and slams it home as it's a 17 point Greenup lead. Greenup all over the Devils tonight. Russell just lost all defensive assignments. Maybe one of the easiest dunks in high school basketball tonight. Grant gets the rebound. They try a run out, but the clock expires. They've got a 17-point lead going into the fourth quarter here at the Marv. And the Russell fans are in shock, as is most of the region. It is. My Town Sports TV getting ready for the fourth quarter. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. You're on the move, you're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now, get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank.
Advanta Clean, your 24 7 experts for water and mold. And we are back here on My Town TV. And Greenup inbounds it to start the fourth quarter. Greenup with a 17 point lead as Underwood drives in. Gives the ball over to Chanley. Chanley guarded by Damon Charles. Nowhere to go with it. He gives it to Bradley Atkins. Bradley Atkins out to Eli Atkins who had a huge third quarter. Back out to Chanley. Out to Bradley Atkins. Bradley Atkins gives it out to Underwood. Greenup has now ran 40 seconds off the game clock here with a 17 point lead. And they get Eli Atkins cutting. He goes up for a dunk and he is denied by Rimmer. And it's down low to Charles as Russell runs with it. Charles misses, gets his own rebound, goes up with it. And he's got a double-double. He's got 12 and 10. He's going to shoot two more free throws. Charles 0 for 2 from the line tonight. Damon Charles at the line. He eyes it. He tries it. And it is off. Just short. Very... Tough tread tonight for the Devils at the free throw line. Charles, second shot long. Rebound to Chanley. Chanley out to Wireman. Wireman cross court to Bradley Atkins and over to Underwood. They're going to hold it up. We got a foul on Russell, number three, Neal. And that's his third. And it is going to be a one and one now for Green as Underwood is going to go to the line. Underwood yet to score tonight. He eyes it, he tries it, knocks it down. Underwood puts it in, 18 point Green up lead. And a 19 point Green up lead as Underwood knocks down both free throws. Stolen away by Underwood. And now we've got a foul on Charles. That's his third. Underwood with the bonus. He misses, and Charles with a rebound. 12 and 11 for Charles. Nice pass. Charles runs the break, gets it to Carter. Gavin Carter puts in his 11th point, and now Russell brings the press. Six and a half to go in the game. Check it in for Greenup County number one, Casey Gannon. Wireman gets it in off the press. Over to Gammon. Back to Chanley. Russell in a 2-2-1 two, two, press. They're trying to trap out. They get the ball down low to Brady Atkins. And Atkins goes in and is fouled. He's fouled by Charles. That's going to be Charles's fourth foul. Atkins going to the line. Bradley Atkins has had a night. <coughs> he eyes it. Wow. He eyes it and tries it and air balls it. Wow. We've not seen that. Well, he's, he brought a laugh to him. He's even laughing about it. And then misses the second. Was not expecting that. 
Don't know if it just slipped out of his hand. Ball's into Carter. Carter goes up, misses, gets his own rebound, and now he's fouled. By Underwood, it's going to be on the floor underneath as Russell's not in the bonus yet. Uh, Russell will shoot the bonus now the rest of the game with just under six minutes to play. Carter's going to drive. He drives middle of the lane. Ball's deflected out. Bloom gets it. Bloom has it. Out to Carter. Carter swings it over to Neal. Neal gets it down low to Charles. Charles goes up, misses the shot. Scrum for the ball. Greenup comes up with it. Wireman gets it out to Gammon. It's Bradley Atkins and Gammon two on two. Gammon's going to pull it out, throw it up top to Wireman. It looks like Greenup's going to be content to run a little clock again. 5.20 to go in the game. Green is pulling it out, running clock. Underwood to Gammon, wide open for three. He misses, rebound Charles, 12 and 12. Out to Bloom, Bloom, shot fake, dribbles in, blocked by Chanley. Rebounded by Underwood. And Greenham's going to call a timeout. We got a. We're going full timeout. We're going to take a one minute break here on my time. We'll be back for the last four minutes and 56 seconds of 63rd District matchup between Russell and Greenham. Pathways, we're transforming not just ourselves, but the way you'll see healthcare. Introducing our all new certified behavioral health clinic, an evolutionary shift in our approach with a focus on you as a whole. Our team will coordinate care dialed in on both your physical and mental well being. It's a holistic approach to how our consumers will seek and receive health care. We are so proud to be able to provide these new services right here in our local communities. Learn how health care is changing for you at a new pathway.org. Ball, Atkins drives it in, ball fakes and scores it, Bradley Atkins. 15 for the freshman Atkins tonight, and it is 51-32. Carter, or Damon Charles, I'm sorry, Damon Charles hits a three, and now we got a timeout, Russell. We've got a 30. We want to stay here uh, as Russell cuts that 19-point lead down to 16 with that three. 4.25 to go. And this just in from a Greenup fan. Greenup, zero deductions, no prelims, and has advanced to the finals of the national championship in Orlando, Florida. So get up for Greenup right now. Uh, they are in the finals of the national championships in Orlando, Florida. So, with that, Raceland has advanced to the semifinals. Ashland advanced to the semifinals. Greenup has gone to the finals. And um, trying to think who else do we have down there. We got all kinds of teams. Russell in the semifinals as well. So congratulations to all of our My Town schools as they are making us proud in the Sunshine State today. And Russell bringing the pressure, ball's knocked away. We're close to a 10 second call. He gets it across to Bradley Atkins. He takes it in on Rimmer and is fouled with 4.09. So, Atkins in his head now. 
He's missed his last five free throws. The freshman Atkins. And he hits number six, though. 16 for him and a 17 point green up lead. <coughs> Rimmer misses the shot, rebounded by Charles. That's his 13th, rebounded by Charles. That's his 14th, and it's knocked out and rebounded, tracked down by Bloom as Charles takes a three. It's down to 14. Charles has hit back-to-back -back threes. He has 18 and 14. Returning to the game for Russell, number 24, Tatum Clinton. And for Green Pennant, number four, Eli Atkins. Wireman brings it across, 14 point green up lead. 3.38 to go in the game. Eli Atkins cuts down low, wide open, found by Underwood. Eli Atkins with a big second half. 13 for him. Rebounded by Underwood off the missed shot. Back tip by Bloom, out to Fleming, Fleming tries to get it to Neal. It's stolen away by Carson Wireman. And now thrown across the court to Underwood. Underwood tries to dribble it across. Taken away by Neal, by, retrieved back by Underwood. Now Bradley Atkins has it. Gammon with the ball in the corner. He drives, kicks it out to Underwood. And now Russell fouls, Neal with the foul. That's Neal's fourth, so Charles Lyon, and Neal both with four. <laughs> Underwood to the line. Underwood now steps up to the line. He is four of five from the line. And Charles comes back in. It's back, the lead is now back to 17 with 2.52 to go. Makes it, that's his fifth point. He's five of six from the foul line tonight. Ball goes out to Bloom, over to Neal. Neal takes a deep three, no good. Over the back call on Charles as Underwood had him blocked out. Charles goes over the back and that is, might be all she wrote for Russell as Charles, who has 18 points, 14 rebounds, has now officially fouled out of the game with Russell trailing 18. Uh, that's a lot of it's a lot of scoring and rebounding to lose right there uh, for the final two minutes. Going to be tough to come back anyway uh, with the clock and. Time, but uh, I don't think anyone expected this tonight as the Russell uh, crowd is starting to file out as it's 57 38. And uh, Underwood goes one of two there from the line, and uh, he's six of eight tonight from the line. Rebounded by Chanley, Chanley gets it to Underwood. Underwood runs with it and is fouled by Carson Bloom. 2.26 to go. And. Thousand Russell's number five, Carson Blue is second. The line from Greenham County, Cohen Underwood. Coach Cooksey. Uh, he now is. Checking in for Russell, Zaylin Carter, Luke Pennington. Going to. Quentin Hewitt and Andrew Yates. He is now going to uh, call it a night as he's going to clear his bench, get uh, get everyone some playing time with 2.25 to go in the game. As Underwood goes one of two. He's now seven of 10 from the foul line tonight. Two for Quentin. Quentin 
Hewlett comes in, drives it in, scores it. It's 40-58 as Wireman brings the ball across the court. Over to Underwood, back out to Wireman. Wireman drives it in, misses the layup. Rebound by number 40, Andrew Yates. And number 15, Hankins is going to bring it across the timeline for Russell. As Pennington, the junior, drives in, tries to get it to Hankins. It's, it's thrown away, and now the Musketeers are going to put a whole new five in. And Greenup's going to go with a whole new five. And that brought a standing ovation from the Greenup County crowd tonight. Russell concedes, and Greenup takes the victory. And Quentin Hewlett with his fourth point of the night as he knocks one down. Minute 13 to go. We've got a just an official timeout to sub. Second for Russell, Gabe Pridemore, <laughs> Joe Caspersic, Ryder Burgess, and Tyler Cordial. All right, the seventh grader, Ryder Burgess, is in the game. Ryder is the grandson of Jody Burgess, the old CK uh, coach, longtime coach, friend of Tubby Smith, and his dad, Joda, was a really good basketball player over in West Virginia at CK and uh, went on and had a nice career for the Thundering Herd at Marshall University. So Ryder Burgess now up top, the seventh grader, getting some varsity action here as he's playing. And he is a, uh, he definitely has a legacy basketball name and a seventh grader that made the varsity team on a 21 and now to be for Russell team. Uh, got a lot of potential coming up there with Russell, with Rimmer, Neil, Burgess, a lot of young kids that can contribute to this basketball program. Greenup's just gonna hold the ball out. They're going to dribble it out. Gavin Roy is going to hold it. He's going to hand the ball to the official. And it is over. Russell goes down tonight at home to green up in 63rd district matchup, 58-42. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back on the post-game show here at My Town. take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender.
and this is Jason Clark here on My Town TV, and we are on the post-game show here at the Marv on the campus of Russell High School, where the Greenham County Musketeers defeated Russell 58-42 in convincing style, never trailed. Coach Allison is here with us on the post-game. Coach Allison, welcome to the 63rd District. Greenup and Russell, uh, definitely no love lost between those schools. You stepped right in and picked the hate right up where it should be, and it made it a fun night here at the Marv. Talk about that. Talk about what this rivalry means. Well, you know, I'm new on this side of the water. <laughs> I mean, last year was my second year officiating um, over here on this side. I've been officiating for 20 years on the Ohio side, so I've always heard about the little green up and, 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 and Raceland, you know, and then they tell me about the, you know, the, the Russell rivalry, so I'm like, uh-oh, here we go, you know. But um, tonight was a big win for my boys, like I told them, you know, the whole time. We've just been trying to build confidence. We've just been trying to build a different mindset in regards to competing every night. And believing that you, you know, that you have a shot, you know, and just the stories I've been hearing that, you know, they've been going in games and really not giving themselves a chance and, uh, you know, and just kind of backing down to the challenge. And I've been kind of, like I told them, I said, those losses that we have, you know, it's experience and we need to make sure we put them to use. Uh, well, they did not back down tonight. Physical, physical game. Uh, you had to go against the man child. Damon Charles, uh, he had, by the way, he had 18 and 14. Uh, wow. 18 points, 14 boards tonight by Damon Charles. Uh, but on the whole, I felt like you all did a really good job on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I thought we had a little, he had 18 last time he played him too. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, and I think we stopped him. So, <laughs> you know, he probably could have had 28 on a, you know, on a, on a bad night. So, but. Um, he's a great player, um, Coach Cooks. He does a great job with these guys over here, and you know. And I'm just trying to bring some, I'm trying to bring some action to the, you know, to the whole thing, you know, to the four-way. Uh, well, uh, we can say here. this, uh, you know. Honestly, probably Grim's been a little down lately, but you've definitely brought food to the table, man. And it is, uh, you've made the 63rd as exciting as it's been since I played in the 63rd uh, back in 94 when you had three, four teams that could win it. And I feel like right now there's probably three teams, uh, you know, on any given night. And uh, and that's, uh, it's made it really exciting. And, uh, you know, I, I miss the atmosphere of the old days back in, the 90s, the Russell fans would be in shirts and ties, and the Greenup fans would be in overalls, and they would be dressed as farmers. It was it was doctors and lawyers versus farmers. But uh, anyway, two great student sections tonight. Congratulations, Coach. We're going to get Eli on here. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. I'm going to get Eli. I'm going to let you go celebrate with your team. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy, and so much more.
And we are back here live on My Town TV in the postgame show with Greenup Jr. Eli Atkins, our player of the game. Eli, uh, first, let's just talk about this. Uh, I've covered a lot of your games this year. You've started every game. You didn't start tonight. Was that a problem? No, that's just Coach Allison's strategy. So I trust what he says, and I just go with it. And that is the, the mark of a team becoming good. Uh, they're buying into their coach, and uh, you guys are starting to look like a really, really good basketball team here in the in the uh, 16th region. Sir. Uh, two points in the first half. Uh, it looked like Coach Allison got on you pretty hard there for a second, and, uh, you know, uh, I didn't – I didn't detect any bad body language. Not really. You kind of – you were frustrated a little bit. But you came out second half, 11 big points and the huge dunk that really kind of ignited the team. Talk about the dunk. Well, we run that play for me to get to the rim, if not pass it. And I caught it. He was on my hip. So I just went to the rim like Coach tells me. <laughs> yeah. Was that your first dunk in the game? No. No. No, you about had one uh, early down here. But yeah. uh, anyway uh, – on the putback, you guys obviously used a lot of runouts tonight, and you beat the Russell team back. How did that? Uh, was that part of your strategy that you could you could get up and down the floor with them? Yeah, his whole thing was they're not very quick getting back on defense, so get the rebound, push it down the floor, just win by layups. And it seemed to work. Um, talk about the other Atkins. Not your family, but your basketball family. Sir. Uh, talk about Bradley and, and what he's brought to this team this year. Just a whole lot of energy. You put him on anyone, it don't matter who it is, he's going to guard him. And he, he don't back down, does he? No. And you've got a great leader in Carson, too, that, that finds people. So, uh, so what's this make you guys? The two seed? Uh, two or three, I believe. The two seed. So, anyway, where are districts? Where are they going to be played at this year? They're at Lewis County. At Lewis County. So, uh, so uh, Green up will go to Lewis County. But, is this a first win against Russell for you as a varsity player? Yeah. First win against Russell. Congratulations. It couldn't have came on a bigger night. Uh, both student sections were packed. Uh, congratulations to you, Eli. We'll let you go celebrate with your team. Thank you. Uh, great game. Great Thank game, you. young man. Sir. There you go, Eli Atkins. And the thing I liked about him tonight was he came in off the bench and bought into the team concept. The team concept was greater than him, and he ended up with uh, an amazing night and uh, helped lead his team to uh, victory uh, tonight. Uh, anyway, uh, this is Jason Clark, and we are going to sign off now on My Town TV uh, tonight on the post game as uh, – we have uh, we had a, a, a tremendous atmosphere here at the Marv, and we'll be back tomorrow for games uh, uh, throughout the day. You can watch us on Facebook Live, the app, uh, all uh, all kinds of venues to watch us. And we want to thank you for all the people that tuned in tonight and had multiple TVs going uh, as games across the region were are heating up here one week from the district tournament. And we're going to sign off at the Marv as Greenup defeats Russell.